Good evening, graduates, family, friends, and special guests. I'm Dr. Darren Otten, Superintendent President of Copper Mountain College. I will be your Master of Ceremonies this evening. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and staff of the Copper Mountain Community College District, I'm honored to welcome each and every one of you to our 21st Annual Commencement Ceremony for Copper Mountain College. It has truly been an extraordinary year at Copper Mountain College, and we cannot be more proud of our graduates, dedication, and the determination to graduate under some of the most challenging conditions any of us have ever seen. While commencement does not look traditional, we are honored to celebrate this milestone with you. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem, led by Vanessa Reyes, our 2019 Greenleaf Scholar. Vanessa is graduating from CMC this year. The Roy Greenleaf Scholarship has assisted Vanessa in achieving her dreams. She is transferring to a top university to earn her bachelor's degree and will keep her promise to return to the Morongo Basin to help others in our community. She would like to thank Copper Mountain College for the amazing memories and thank her family as the Reyes tribe and all of her supporters. She also wishes the best of luck to the next generations to graduate and achieve their educational goals. She says, fighting cacti rules. It's my pleasure to present Vanessa Reyes. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Before we continue with this evening's program, I would like to introduce the Board of Trustees for Copper Mountain College. These individuals are your elected officials and the governing board of the district. They seek to ensure the best decisions are being made on behalf of CMC students. Ms. Liz Meyer, Board President. Ms. Mary Lombardo, Board Vice President. Ms. Eva Kinsman, Clerk of the Board. Mr. Greg Gilbert, Trustee. Mr. Dick Rogers, trustee. We truly appreciate all that you do for our students, staff, and community. A few of our trustees would like to say a few words to each of you. Hi, my name is Dick Rogers. I'm one of your board of trustee members here at the college. And I want to congratulate all of you for completing your studies. And I want to commend you also for the time that you've spent since it's been such a difficult uh, environment for you. And lastly, I just want to encourage you to continue your education towards your uh, career goals. Once again, congratulations. Hello, graduating class. Um, my name is Greg Gilbert. I'm a trustee here. And I also taught here, retired from the communications department 10 years ago. Um, and I'm here today to give you a very brief history lesson. It begins with congratulations and it ends with thank you. 
The, the history lesson is part of the thank you. It means that you have fulfilled the dream of a little college that got founded about 20 years ago this year. In fact, uh, the tassel that I have on is from the first graduating class of 2021, uh, of 2001, rather. Um, so here we are 20 years later and you're continuing the legacy. Uh, you may know that if you went to College of the Desert, you'd be driving at least an hour from here to get essentially the same education um, that you've uh, been able to accomplish at our college. And I just wanted to say that this is important history because this is a community that built its college and established the foundation that funds the college ahead of its construction that hasn't happened anywhere else. And what makes that particularly impressive is it's part of a community college system that spans the state and is the largest post-secondary system uh, in the United States. In this system, tens of thousands of faculty work together at 115 different colleges to make sure that you have the certificates and degrees and the courses that you need in order to complete your journey here. I am very impressed that our community came together. They raised funds, local rotaries worked together. Even the Marine Corps came out and did a grading exercise at the site of the college that helped us prepare to build our structures. So you're part of a dream that this community began some time ago, and here we are at our 20th anniversary. Thank you for keeping it going. I know there's a lot of people that you have a debt of gratitude for, and I hope that you'll give yourself a debt of gratitude. It takes a lot of work and sacrifice to earn certificates and degrees. And one last thing, uh, I would say, if at all possible, keep sustaining this dream. Go down to our foundation office down on level 300 at the bottom of the campus, right there between the uh, Veteran Center and the bookstore is our foundation where you'll meet Sandy. Sandy is our cheerleader. She's the person who works with all the local foundations and clubs and organizations to help keep the dream alive. And if you're so inclined to continue what we're doing here and to make improvements in it, to sustain our dream, do please pay it forward. Go down there and help make it possible for other students so that we can celebrate their graduation of the 21st year, the 22nd year, and off into the future. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. And now I'll show you what it looks like after you take off your um, graduation hat, your mortarboard, and you can put on your CMC hat and work for the future here. Thank you so much. Greetings, CMC graduating class of 2021. Just as the year 2021 is the turning the corner on the COVID pandemic, your class is the turning the corner class. You've been through the pandemic you've had to adapt your educational goals, you've had to persevere to keep going on your educational goals. And now you're ready to turn the corner. You're ready to take these degrees and move forward with your life goals. For those coming, following you, you are a model and you are an inspiration to those of us who have come before you because we have seen where you've been and how you've got to where you are. Congratulations, CMC Class of 2021. My hat is off to you. My name is Mary Lombardo, and I am Vice President of the Board of Trustees, which I've served proudly for eight and a half years. Today, you say goodbye to what you know so well, Copper Mountain College and hello to the unpredictable pathways leading you into the future. 
Together we celebrate this milestone, knowing it is only one of many to come. Just as a child learns to walk on their own or ride a bike without training wheels, you all have learned to reason, to think, and to discern truth for yourselves. As we continue on through these uncertain times, know that you are prepared, you will find your balance, and you will continue on despite the challenges as you have proved capable today. I hope to leave you with this invitation to reflect with gratitude on the kindness and support of those who have invested in your success, including faculty and staff, and to generously share your success by supporting, encouraging, and investing in others as they journey towards success too. And yes, another congratulations to the class of 2021. I'd like to recognize our senior administrators here at Copper Mountain College. Ms. Jane Abel, Vice President of Student Services. Ms. Bonnie Bilger, Chief Human Resources Officer. Ms. Meredith Plummer, Chief Business Officer. Ms. Melanie Scheel, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ms. Sandy Smith, the Executive Director of the Copper Mountain College Foundation. Thank you for all that you do for our students. I would also like to recognize our faculty and staff here at Copper Mountain College for all they have done for our students in this truly unique time. Your perseverance, your creativity, your dedication has made it possible to serve our students and help them succeed. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce to you Kathy Jorgensen Itnire, your faculty speaker. Professor Itnire teaches history and philosophy here at Copper Mountain College. She received her bachelor's degree in medieval history from Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C., and has an ABD from Rutgers University. She was a Fulbright Scholar in Reykjavik, Iceland from 1978 to 1980. In 1989, Kathy began teaching here at CMC as a part-time instructor, and she's been a full-time professor at CMC for 26 years. She published a book of essays for Garland Press on medieval family roles, and she has published several articles on Icelandic medieval history, as well as a number, number of biographies for historic world leaders and Encyclopedia of Women in World History. Itnayer has served in the past as the college's accreditation liaison officer and has established a Bay Rota Pi chapter of the Honor Society Phi Theta Kappa at Copper Mountain College. For over 10 years, she has served as the PTK faculty advisor. It is my pleasure to present to you the CMC faculty speaker, Professor Kathy Hittnire. Okay. Members of the board of trustees, Superintendent President Otten, families and friends of the CMC graduates, faculty and staff of CMC and CMC graduates. We're always gonna remember this year for many reasons. I was 11 when President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. All those who were alive in 1963 will never forget this tragic event. Some of you are old enough to recall the terrorist attacks of 9-11. And for you younger students, actually for all of us, 2020 will be your defining event to recount to your children and grandchildren. The lost year when the coronavirus shut down our schools, businesses, and athletic, church, and cultural activities and gatherings. Many of us lost family and friends to the virus, but the consequences were even farther reaching. We couldn't attend weddings, funerals, birthday parties, or even graduations in person. Which brings me to our graduation. What did you have to do this last year to complete all of your coursework in order to receive today your certificate or associate's degree? You likely started your time at CMC in face-to-face -face classes where you could raise your hand and ask a question for clarification or offer a counterpoint to your professor. You could also commiserate with fellow students and laugh or gripe about the goings on in your classes. Then, just before spring break in March of 2020, we all learned that life as we knew it was suddenly over. No more in-person instruction, no more in-school learning for our children. Venturing out to the grocery store felt like a life-threatening adventure 
and family or communal gatherings at restaurants and movie theaters and sports events now became a thing of the past. Dinosaurs like me, I've been teaching at CMC for 33 years now, suddenly had to convert all of our yellowed lecture notes into online material to enable our, our spring 2020 students to complete the courses they'd begun in January. As nervous as some of you students were about being able to do your work online, please know that a significant percentage of the faculty were equally anxious. I remember that my students were sending me dozens of questions on the Canvas Message Center that first month, and they were wondering why I never answered them. It was because I had no idea that a certain little icon was telling me that emails from students were piling up. When a student pointed this out to me, I remember that I sat down and had to spend 10 hours straight apologizing and responding to these messages. After a year of working from home, I think that all of us have gotten a little better at it. And we've all, I think, come to possess one of the most valuable traits that predicts success in life, resilience. Resilience is the quality of buoyancy, floating easily on whatever storms throw in our paths. Adjusting, well, not just adjusting, but enduring whatever demanding trials come our way, not becoming crushed by them. Do you see how resilient you are, graduates? All the terrors and inconveniences the pandemic threw at you, and what did you do? You soldiered on and completed your degrees. Soldier, that brings to my mind invincible Roman soldiers for whom a source of strength was the philosophy of life espoused by the Stoics. The Stoic philosopher Seneca said, how does it help to make troubles heavier by bemoaning them? Just imagine if you had reacted to the shutdown with complaints and recriminations against society and fate, what would that have accomplished? But you didn't do that. Instead, you rose to the occasion and learned how to study on your own with just your friendly computer for company. And that's why you're able to get your diplomas today. The greatest of the Stoic philosophers, in my opinion, was the second century emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Everything that could go wrong for him did. His army lost a crushing battle, plague sickened his soldiers, his wife cheated on him. How did he manage to go on? Here's what he said. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. You all lived this philosophy during your time at CMC. When you started, there was the inconvenience of finding time to attend classes and do all the work involved, fitting it into your family and work lives. Some of you resisted the lure of the steady paycheck in order to pursue your dream of a college degree that could put you in a better position long run as, as earners. When the shutdown came, you persisted with your coursework and perhaps even developed or perfected technical skills that will serve you well in the coming years. Having experienced the full breadth of educational opportunities, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, full-on distance learning, you are stronger than you might have been otherwise. I want to conclude my talk with a mention of a more recent representative of the Stoic point of view, Viktor Frankl, who lived from 1905 to 1997, an Austrian psychiatrist and philosopher and Holocaust survivor. His vast body of work centered on the search for human meaning. He followed squarely in the Stoic tradition. One of my favorite quotations of his, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. This, my dear graduates, is what you all have done. You chose a path that prioritized and valued education, and you followed it even when a pandemic threatened to block your progress. You wouldn't let it. You rose to meet the challenge, and the victory is yours. Congratulations and best wishes to you all from the faculty of Copper Mountain College. I now have the great pleasure of introducing your honor graduate speaker, Giovanni Garcia. Giovanni has earned with highest honors a degree in liberal arts, arts and humanities. He is a member of Beta Rho Pi, Copper Mountain College's chapter of Phi, Theta Kappa National Honor Society. Mr. Garcia has lived in the high desert since 2014. Before returning to full-time st study in 2020, 
He worked in various retail settings in Joshua Tree, Yucca Valley, and 29 Palms. The achievement of his degree represents Giovanni's lifetime love of education. In elementary school, Giovanni competed with his school's team in the academic pentathlon and in high school in the academic decathlon. Giovanni acknowledges his dedication and commitment to his academic achievements have been due to his family, teachers, and professors who have provided immeasurable support in their belief in his potential and unwavering confidence in his abilities. Giovanni hopes to pursue an academic career in philosophy that honors and reciprocates the generosity and character that have inspired and empowered him since childhood. I now present to you your CMC Honor Graduate Speaker, Giovanni Garcia. Good evening. I am Giovanni Garcia, and it is my honor and privilege to congratulate the graduating class of 2021 for so great an achievement at such a difficult time. It has been my honor to learn alongside you, to aspire with you after facts and critical understandings, and to keep hope with you that as we go forward with wisdom and with competence, we can make a positive difference within our community by way of our disciplines and vocations. Today, our studies at Copper Mountain College have reached their end but our lives as intelligent citizens, family members, and friends are just beginning. The associate's degree marks a distinction we have each worked hard to achieve. But the diploma we receive today symbolizes but a facet of the virtue and tenacity we, the class of 2021, offer to the community of the high desert and to any community or culture in which we seek belonging. For many of us, myself included, this is the first time we're encountering our graduating classmates face to face. And nonetheless, here each of us are. Unlike the classes graduating before us and those that will graduate after us, our familiarity may be limited to frequent encounters on online discussion boards or to weekly Zoom meetings. But what makes our familiarity the stronger, the common bond of our class, is the manifest and fast resolve we exhibit in undertaking our education and study with self-motivation and discipline. As much as we have learned, we can teach by practice of the character we have realized at Copper Mountain. I hope for each of you happiness and success in your future careers, studies, relationships, and adventures. But perhaps one lesson of our remote learning is that hope begins within. That the happiness and success we each seek can be gained with determination and effort, with acceptance of situations beyond our control and the belief that the education of oneself paves the way to a happier future common to all. For some of you, you have undertaken your studies while caring for children whose education you've had to monitor and encourage alongside your own. For some of you, you are rising to medical training in order to meet the challenge that tests the fortitude of your soon-to-be colleagues. For some, your studies in the liberal arts and sciences involve you in locating and professing the hope, the principles of hope that will reinvigorate and inspire these times as they recover from the shock of the global pandemic. And for all of us, your dedication here at Copper Mountain College has equipped you to rise to and contribute to vocations that will heal the integrity of our social fabric at an unprecedented time in the world's history. Even as I speak, the crisis that has uniquely altered our experience of Copper Mountain continues to show new signs of improvement and of management. Classes will recommence in which we can meet our professors in their classrooms. 
Bruce's place will once more become an animated place of conversation and shared meals. And the venues that we had become accustomed to take for granted will reopen with fewer taped distancing markers and with regular hours. Life will return to a new normal. But I invite you, at this time, as you fulfill the curriculum of Copper Mountain's mission, to remember the way in which you committed to developing your skills and your knowledge, even as the world veered into confusion and isolation. Remind yourself in the days and years after this day, how you found strength and dedication within when normalcy could no longer be taken for granted. That resilience, the inspiration we have found in order to accomplish as much in our lives as in our classes, is the lesson we offer to our families, our future workplaces, and our future communities. It is with great pride I address you today as my classmates and my peers of the class of 2021. The elation and sobriety I feel at this occasion are an odd coupling, but odd couplings of home and school, of isolation and class, and of hope and adversity are but some of the proud distinctions of our graduating class and the beginnings of our graduate community. Thank you for taking this moment with me to memorialize our achievement, our character, and our college. As the world reopens, so too does the next and duly earned chapter of our lives. To the class of 2021 of Copper Mountain College, I offer profound congratulations. Continue to persevere with grace. Thank you. It is my distinct privilege this evening to introduce the commencement keynote speaker, Misty Dawn Chakti Sharma. Misty graduated from CMC with degrees in Registered and Vocational Nursing, and currently she is a Registered Nurse, Speaker, and Author. With experience working in population and community health, mental health, geriatrics, pain management, transdisciplinary care, and holistic nursing, she has been caring for our community for over a decade. Misty, Misty currently serves as an elected official to the Morongo Basin Healthcare District Board of Directors, she also serves as the chair of the Community Health Center Board and board of director for the Association of California Healthcare Districts. It is her belief that healthcare is a human right and she serves to advocate for others. Misty is the author of the book, Memoirs of My Divination, meaning the memories of her journey to find God. Her book is a poetry collection that tells of her own journey of soul awakening and inspires others through spiritual thought practice. It is my honor to present keynote speaker, Misty Dawn Shakti Sharma. Hello friends, family, faculty, staff, alumni, guests, and the persevering graduating class of 2021. My name is Misty Dawn Shakti Sharma, and I am also a proud graduate and alumni of CMC. I know we are doing this celebration virtually and pre-recorded, but my intention is that you may feel we are all together celebrating your great achievement and that my words will resonate in your spirits. I want you to know it is the honor of my life to have been asked to speak to you today. In thinking on what I wanted to say, I reflected on the journey to now. I thought of when I began my journey at Copper Mountain College. When I came to CMC, I was desperate for hope. To society, I was a stereotype, a teenage mother. To myself, I had just loved, 
and now have the beautiful gift of being a mother. I don't think I realized then how easy it is for society to ostracize its people. When I came back to Copper Mountain College six months after my child was born, I was struck by the safety and hope I felt. Here, I was not anything other than a student. Here, I could be my most true self. Here, I could ask questions and give answers. Here, I could set goals, create dreams, and make plans. Here, I was not my age or my socioeconomic status. Here, I was not anything other than raw potential. I graduated from CMC with two nursing degrees. My calling to become a nurse had come from my soul and I received the calling in church one day. In writing this speech, I reflect that I entered the workforce, workforce of nursing almost a decade ago. But my life has very much been about ministry of soul and acknowledging the spirit of all people. To enter nursing is to enter deeply into the spirit of humanity. And I have personally bared witness to the journey of many souls on this planet. I have realized that people need to be seen. They need to be touched. They need to be heard. They want to be loved. They want to be safe. They need to be empowered. They need hope. I have seen and felt personally and have seen in others' eyes a question to understand that they are more than just human here to live and work and die. And so part of my journey is to powerfully speak to you about soul, awakening, love, and divinity here today. It has never been difficult for me to love. Love has always flown freely from myself to others. And I recognize today what a gift that is. In the past, I did not always see my compassion as a gift. And as I experienced hardships, traumas, and the pain that it is to be soul in human form, I sometime, sometimes lost what a gift it is to love. And so I want to speak to you about recognizing the gifts you bear inside you. We are all innate with our special soul gifts and talents. My journey at Copper Mountain College caused me to look deeper into my own self and into the universe around me. I've recently published a book about my soul awakening journey, and I truly believe my education and the mentorship and support I received from Copper Mountain College was imperative to being able to get in touch with my own soul. I had realized my soul had been sleeping. The process of soul awakening is not always a kind and simple thing. I want to read an excerpt from my book from the section Awakening. Spiritual revolution never comes easy. It will break you and try to break everything you know and hold dear. Clinging. We cling to everything. Let it go, the soul whispers. But we still we cling until the death of ego occurs and then the silence comes. Ascension has its price, complacency be damned. I am uncomfortable, but I am opening again and again and again. Life is a journey and pain and discomfort are part of that journey. Longing is a catalyst for transmutation and Copper Mountain College is the portal and the education received is the energy in which to go forth and love the world. As you journey through your own soul awakenings in the pursuit of happiness, you will have the potential to make an impact on those around you. As a nurse, I give testimony that holding a hand, calling to check on someone, and prayer can be as therapeutic as any treatment or medication. It can even save a life. When writing this speech and reflecting, I thought of the many people who our society throws away, disregards, and tries not to see. And I thought about a quote from a wonderful man, Father Gregory Boyle. 
and Father Boyle created Homeboy Industries, the world's largest gang intervention and rehab program. And there is something he said that really spoke to my soul. Father Boyle said, no daylight to separate us, only kinship. Inching ourselves closer to creating a community of kinship such that God might recognize it. Soon we imagine with God this circle of compassion. Then we imagine no one standing outside of that circle. Moving ourselves closer to the margins so that the margins themselves will be erased. We stand there with those whose dignity has been denied and we locate ourselves with the poor and the powerless and the voiceless and at the edges we join the easily despised and the readily left out. We stand with the demonized so that the demonizing will stop and we situate ourselves right next to the disposable so that the day will come when we stop throwing people away. If I could offer any sound piece of wisdom or advice, it would be to love others, to see others, to follow your heart, to seek further education, and to help educate others. When you are educated, you have the divine responsibility to help others. I want you to beware the naysayers, the people who tell you you can't do what your soul is drawn to do, Surround yourself with the people who can support you and respect your journey. Make yourself so capable that the world may be shaking with the storms of life, trying to pull you in every direction, but you are solid in yourself. You have you. Part of my journey now is to speak my many truths, to hold the safe spaces for healing, and to promote the wellness of my community holistically recognizing the physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. This past year, we have seen many things occur in our humanity, devastations and healing, light and dark. Things can't ever go back to the way they were. They must change, move, grow, expand, and birth anew. I hope you take within you all the love and gifts of knowledge you have received from Copper Mountain College. I hope you carry it internally and let it drop you to your knees in gratitude. As you bow your head and spirit in the service of something greater than yourself. It's true that it takes more than one person to change the world. There is power in numbers. So let us continue to find ways in coming together in propelling the spirit of humanity forward. Let us say that the world was touched by the magnitude of our ever expanding capacity to love and heal each other. I bow my own head, I open my own heart in full gratitude to this college, to the faculty, staff, and the educators who held the safe space for my soul to nourish, heal, and dream all it could be. Like Sandy Smith says, it takes nothing from you to light the candle of another. Go forth and know that your soul has special work to do. Go forth and know that God is not in some elusive place. God is in the streets amongst the people. Congratulations again to your very special class of 2021 for persevering through calamity and tragedy. May you recognize your own strength, your own purpose, and how you are part of the divine tapestry of love. May you go forward and help others awaken to these truths. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce your announcers for this evening's event. Ms. Jane Abel, Vice President of Student Services, Ms. Jennifer O'Donnell, Dean of Student Services, and Ms. Melanie Scheel, Vice President of Academic Affairs.
Shanae Ann Augaberry Stewart, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Princess Alfonso, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Michael Angelo Ambrise, Business Administration, High Honors. Tiffany Crystal Arachiga, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Zara Hadassah Arjunal, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Jasmine Argumedo, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, High Honors. Jennifer Leandra Art, Psychology. Catherine Cervantes Badell, Studio Arts, Academic Distinction. Justin Corey Baker, Registered Nursing. Elizabeth Beltran, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Anne Paige Biggs, Business Administration. Exodus Adina Blail Walker, Vocational Nursing. Kimberly Elaine Bloomfield, Sociology. Anna Rosa Bonilla, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Samantha Bowles Russell, Business Administration, Economics, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jennifer Guadalupe Boizo, Early Childhood Education. Ethan Bryant, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, High Honors. Christina Lynn Campbell, Registered Nursing. Samantha Mary Castellanos, Administration of Justice, Psychology. Heidi Araceli Cervantes. Liberal Arts, Mathematics, and Science. Colette Nicole Champagne, Studio Arts. Chrissy Chartier, Vocational Nursing. Alejandra Chavez, Registered Nursing. Michelle R. Correa, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Psychology, Academic Distinction. Brittany Culifer, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Thomas Coran, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Psychology. High Honors. Jessica Dom, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Laura Elizabeth Francis Darling, 
computer information systems, computer programming, high honors. Janessa Lynn DeFalco, English, History. Monica S. De Leon, Business Administration. Jennifer De Tyne, History, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alexis Malia Del Tour, Administration of Justice, Criminal Justice. Jordan Michael Diesel, Fire Technology, Psychology. Reginald D. Diggs, Jr., Business Administration, Economics. Angela Nicole Dinney, Registered Nursing. Sydney Christine Doty, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Ivy Dupree, Elementary Teacher Education, High Honors. Christian John Edmondson, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Nancy J. Elgin, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Christopher J. Felosi, Studio Arts, Highest Honors. Stephanie Larray Fernandez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Psychology. Krissa Farrow, Business Administration, Political Science. Michelle L. Fink, Business Administration, High Honors. Dennis P. Fleming, Registered Nursing, High Honors. Zia Foley, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, High Honors. Gavin E. Foot, Computer Science, Mathematics, High Honors. Adriana M. Fergoso, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Business Administration. Joseph Daniel Fuentes, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Psychology. Amanda Rose Funk, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Allison Garcia, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Giovanni Garcia, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Highest Honors. Justice Cassandra Garner, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Alyssa Marie Garza, Anthropology. Kaylee Jolene Gibson, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Consuelo Gonzalez, Registered Nursing.
Ricky Gonzalez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Natalie Graham, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Highest Honors. Shannon Marie Gregory, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Political Science, Sociology. Taylor Ann Haas, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Joanne C. Hansen, History. Wesley Harrower, Liberal Arts, Social Behavioral Sciences. Nikki Hatch, General Business, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Lisa Hemi, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities. Marshall Maverick Henley, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science and Mathematics. Erica Taylor Hennings, History, Political Science, Psychology and Sociology. Ashley Velen Hernandez, Psychology. Lorena Diogenes Hernandez, Elementary Teacher Education, Academic Distinction. Alexandra Hokisvig, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Zachary Benjamin Humber, Fire Technology Academic Distinction. Valerie Jean Eumannick, Business Administration. Travion Tremaine Jackson, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Stephanie Lee Jacuse, Sociology, Academic Distinction. Timothy Jason James, Studio Arts, Academic Distinction. Rebecca Darlene Jennings, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, High Honors. Mackenzie Page Johnson, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Sydney Nicole Keith, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Don Ketchum IV, History and Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Dylan Keyes, Elementary Teacher Education, Academic Distinction. Austin Aaron Joyce King, Psychology, Academic Distinction. Andrea L. Kerpalani, Registered Nursing. Amanda R. Knoblock, Computer Information Systems, High Honors. Shana D. Landers, Elementary Teacher Education, Academic Distinction. Melissa Launder, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Gordon Lee, Administration of Justice, History and Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. 
Jacqueline Renee Lee, Vocational Nursing Academic Distinction. Cambriel Lynn Leschuk, Vocational Nursing. Hope Ann Liptrap, Psychology Highest Honors. Hunter Benjamin Liptrap, Communication Studies, English Highest Honors. Daniel Lomez, Computer Information Systems. Alicia Liana Lopez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Amanda Dawn Lopez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Rebecca Catherine Lopez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, High Honors. Amanda J. Loray, Business Administration, Academic Distinction. Dylan Lovejoy, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Mallory Christine Luna, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Academic Distinction. Brittany Lee, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Gabriella Chantel McCall, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, High Honors. Tony Amy Melanie Menai, Vocational Nursing. Raydeen Lorraine Mancera, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, High Honors. Maria Julia Mariscal, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities and Sociology, Highest Honors. Kevin Anthony Ulip Maxwell, Psychology. Kimberly Carol McCollum, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Highest Honors. Sarah Janelle McCracken, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Psychology and Sociology. Caressa L. McGowan, Liberal Studies for Elementary School Preparation at CSUSB High Honors. Chanel Ashley McGowan, Business Administration. Stephen Mejia, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Dennis James Moen, Psychology. Alicia K. Moore, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Highest Honors. Stephen J. Moreno, Jr., Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Academic Distinction. Mabelin Rocio Morganroth, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Lisa Angelica Morin, Political Science, Highest Honors. Sirish Kumar Nandiala, 
liberal arts, mathematics, and science, high honors. Heidi Amber Nelson, Registered Nursing Academic Distinction. David John O'Brien, Jr., Computer Science Academic Distinction. Steve Richard O'Donohue, Business Administration High Honors. Michaela Old, Sociology Academic Distinction. Talia Rosalba Ormiston, Registered Nursing Academic Distinction. Sherry L. Orson, Vocational Nursing. Maria Padilla, Registered Nursing. Ana M. Padron Dominguez, Vocational Nursing. Jose A. Pantoja Ramirez, Computer Science High Honors. Cassandra Elise Parker, Vocational Nursing. Vandala Jasmine Paxton, Art History and Studio Arts. Sitlali Jasmine Perez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Jessica Natalia Perez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Joshua Matthew Perez, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Sandra Maritza Perez, Business Administration. Shauna Peterson, Registered Nursing. Megan Ray Panella, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities. Kylie Pitts, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Brianna Ashley Plant, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Robert Placencia, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science and Mathematics. Teresa Potts, Computer Information Systems. Francis J. Power, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science and Psychology, Academic Distinction. Molly D. Pratt, Psychology, Academic Distinction. Caitlin Grace Praxel, Anthropology, High Honors. Geraldine R. Quivetto, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sydney Michelle Rigoni, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Olivia Giovanna Ramirez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Merlita R. Ramsey, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Alexandria Regnier, Registered Nursing, High Honors. Vanessa Reyes, Communication Studies.
Christine Beatrice Rios, Psychology. Kylie Summer Robbins, Political Science, Highest Honors. Zoe Kylie Robinson, Administration of Justice, Highest Honors. Emanuela Romano, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Savannah Marie Romero, Vocational Nursing. Lydia Ronia, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Academic Distinction. Juliette Felicity Rose, Psychology, Highest Honors. Samantha Ross, Business Administration. Tamberlyn Russell, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Donna Jean Sandfer, Business Administration. Ashley Nicole Santiago, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Cherie Ray Schott, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Ruben Schmidt, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science, Academic Distinction. Zachary Brian Shaneborn, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, High Honors. Mackenzie Scott, Business Administration, Highest Honors. Jasmine Diane Schaefer, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, and Sociology. High honors. Tony Shama, Business Administration. Amber Shoup, English. Rachel Silva, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Jessica A. Simon, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Academic Distinction. Andy Smith, Art History and Studio Arts, Highest Honors. Amanda Snay, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Brianna Marie Snowden, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, and Psychology, Highest Honors. Brenda Soria, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Savannah Rayanne Spitz, Vocational Nursing. Courtney Rose Stanford, Registered Nursing, Academic Distinction. Samantha Leah Stoker, General Business, Academic Distinction.
Jeffrey Ted Toto, Political Science, Academic Distinction. Maya Sydney Todd, Business Administration. Rebecca T. Torres, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Taylor Nicole Suhako, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Eric Turner, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Political Science and Psychology. Anna Lisa Tyson, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Lisbeth Vargas, Vocational Nursing. Cassandra Vasquez, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Michael Anthony Venanzi, Business Administration, Highest Honors. Cody M. Virick, Computer Science. Samantha Voles, Vocational Nursing, Academic Distinction. Janelle Wellman, Computer Information Systems. Caitlin Renee White, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Matthew Wiebler, Registered Nursing. Tanya Wilcox, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Aiden Wolf, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Sierra N. Zavala, Liberal Arts, Mathematics and Science. Thank you all for attending our virtual commencement ceremony. It has been an honor and privilege to be part of this significant and special time for each and every one of you. Members of the Board of Trustees, friends, families, faculty, and staff, as the Superintendent President here at Copper Mountain College, I am honored to present you, the 2021 Class of Copper Mountain College. Congratulations, graduates. It gives me great pleasure to report to you that the graduates here this evening have met the requirements for the degrees they are about to receive. By the power vested in me by the State of California and by the Board of Trustees of Copper Mountain Community College District, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you have duly completed all requirements. Congratulations.
Mike says, congratulations class of 2021, you've done it. Hey, stick around and check out the congratulations from staff and faculty coming your way. Best wishes to all of you. Congratulations class of 2021. My name is Cassie Knapsiger. I'm a counselor here at Copper Mountain College. And this is my favorite time of year because I get the privilege of congratulating you and wishing you the very best in your future endeavors, whatever that might look like for you, whether that's going for that promotion, applying for a new job, transferring to university, um, maybe this was a life goal that you set for yourself. Whatever that is to you, congratulations. I am so excited for you. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to, to encourage you to keep in touch with us. Nothing is more exciting <clears throat> or more fulfilling for us than to hear um, where your future is taking you where, you, where you're going in life. So congratulations again. We're so excited for you. Like the Beach Boys, you will always remember your graduation day. It's a great time to reflect on your achievement and enjoy this moment. You will never regret the hard work and sacrifice that you've put in to accomplish this goal. Good luck to you in your future endeavors, and remember to support those who will follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Celebrate. Good times. Come on. Congrats to the class of 2021 on this great accomplishment. May these challenging times inspire you to lead by example with hope, and change the world for better. You are empowered. From Anamika Basu, PhD, professor at Copper Mountain College. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. Although it's been a very challenging year, you should be very proud of your achievements. Education is a remarkable tool. It enables you to do wonderful things to catapult you into great success. Congratulations on your graduation and all the best for the future. Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas, the Dean of Arts and Sciences at Copper Mountain College. I'm Deanna Johnson, the Admin Assistant for the Dean of Arts and Science. And we just want you to know how very proud we are of you for your accomplishments and, and how grateful we are just to have been a small part of that. We wish you the best in your future, and if you ever want to come back and say hello, come on back and say hello to us. So, best of luck and, and Godspeed. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Matthew Barboza. As the Associate Dean of CTE and Non-Credit here at Copper Mountain College, I would like to congratulate you all on your graduation. This is a huge accomplishment and the first of many more great accomplishments for you. Keep making strides towards your goals, and know that we are all very proud of you here at Copper Mountain College. Again, congratulations. Hola, como decano asociado de educación técnica y profesional aquí en Copper Mountain College, te felicito por tu graduación. Este es un gran logro y el primero de muchos más grandes logros. Siga avanzado hacia su éxito. Todos estamos muy orgullosos de usted. Congratulations, CMC class of 2021. I bet you never dreamed your last year here would be like this one. Well, you were truly tested and you made it. Let that give you some confidence as you navigate through your lives. And now it's time to celebrate. So turn off your phones, get outside, have some fun, and stay safe. Carly Jacobs is an Educational Support Specialist in Academic Affairs at Copper Mountain. Carly graduated from CMC in 2019 with an Associate of Arts degree for Transfer in Psychology and an Associate of Arts degree for Transfer in Studio Arts. This year, in 2021, Carly will be graduating from Cal State University San Bernardino with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology and a minor in Gender and Sexuality Studies. Carly projects that in 20-something-something, something, she'll have earned her Master of Social Work degree from Bremen University. And in 20-something-something-something, something, something, somewhere, somehow, she'll have earned a PhD in psychology something. Carly says, hey, I did this once, and I'm about to do it again and again and again. Congratulations. 
Keep up the hard work and keep transferring. Continue your education as much as you possibly can. You'll never regret what you learn. Knowledge is power. It's okay to not have all the pieces. Just a dream and a plan can take you a long way. Good luck. Congratulations, you did it. Best wishes on your next journey. Hello, my name is Crystal Avila and I am one of the general counselors. Your achievements this year are remarkable. You have shown that you have the resiliency and grit to accomplish anything you set your mind to, which is why I know you're going to be successful in wherever your journey takes you next. The world is yours now, and I cannot wait to see what impact you will have on it. In the words of Kobe Bryant, job's not done. Get out there and take over the world. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hi, this is Derek Monty Penny, and I am the librarian here at Copper Mountain, and on behalf of my staff, everyone here at the Greenleaf Library, I want to offer our heartiest congratulations to all graduates. Uh, it's a challenge in the best of times to do what you've done. Uh, in our current reality, it's practically superhuman what you've done. So congratulations and all my very best to all of you. Hi, graduates. I don't really know how to make a video, but I wanted to do this for you because I'm so incredibly proud of you. The things you have accomplished in this year and the years prior, you have made your professors, your families, and most of all, yourselves very proud. I congratulate you and I wish you the best in your future. Have a great time and keep listening to good music. Dr. Heather Gilmore, communications professor and communication club advisor, says, CMC graduates, it's my honor to congratulate each and every one of you. Today is only the first of many amazing moments, and I know life has many more in store for you. Chasing a dream requires hard work, passion, and many sacrifices. Graduating and overcoming all of this is a reason to scream from the rooftops that you did it. Be proud of yourself. It's not an easy road, and now your new journey down the yellow brick road begins. What does this yellow brick road lead to? That's the adventure. Be open to possibilities. Carefully observe each brick as they aren't just there for you to walk on, rather place there to lead you to your next ventures. I'm sure in your experiences in school, in applying to college, in picking your major, in deciding what you want to do with life, people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Congratulations, everyone. It's really amazing to get through a really challenging time, but still make really important strides, uh, strides forward, just like you are right now. Uh, I hope everyone has the uh, best day for today uh, and is able to have some time with family and friends. And I hope that you all have a wonderful future that you're walking into after putting in all this time and work. Thank you very much. Congratulations! Yay. You did it! Congratulations, class of 2021. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for each and every one of you. Congratulations! Hey, class of 2021, you did it! You rocked it out. You stuck in there during the hard times and the fun times, and you're gonna go far. I know you are very proud of you. Congratulations for your hard work. And now it's time to celebrate good times. Come on.
Congratulations, graduates. You did it. I hope you are all very proud of yourselves for accomplishing such a big task in a very uncertain and stressful time. Thank you for letting me be part of your journey. Best of luck wherever life takes you next. Hi, I'm Marissa Salman. I'm a general counselor for military affiliated and veteran services. And I am Gracie Shadowin. I am the veterans resource specialist and school certifying official. And we just wanted to say congratulations from veteran services. Congrats class of 2021. Congratulations Copper Mountain graduating class of 2021. I wish I could be there to congratulate you in person, but uh, this is the best we can do right now. And um, I know it's been a rough year, but you made it. And I just wanna say congratulations to everybody and uh, good luck in your future endeavors, whatever that may be. The Copper Mountain College Human Resources and Payroll Team would like to congratulate the class of 2021 on their achievement. Congratulations on all the hard work. I know it was tough, but you guys persevered. You did it, you did it, you graduated. We celebrate the culmination of all that's gone into this. Happy graduation. Congratulations, we are so excited for you and your next adventure. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, class. Woo! We're proud. Hey everybody, just wanted to say congratulations on graduating this semester. We're very proud of you and all the work that you've done um, in this very interesting time that we're all in. On behalf of myself and the financial aid staff here at Copper Mountain College, congratulations again and best wishes to you in the future. Bye. Hey graduates, you did it. You're moving on to a new and exciting chapter in your life. We are so stoked to see what you do next. We are so proud of your achievements and wish you all the best for the future that lies ahead. It is such a pleasure to celebrate your accomplishments with you. We admire your determination and tenacity on completing your goals. So, on behalf of the classified employees of Copper Mountain College, congratulations! congratulations. Congratulations, Copper Mountain College graduates. I'm Sandy Smith, the Executive Director of Copper Mountain College Foundation. And I can't tell you how proud I am and all of us at CMC are. Whether this is the first goal of many for you or this is your ultimate goal, you did it. You have achieved it against very great odds these last couple of years. We're so proud of you and we look forward to seeing all the great things you do in this life. Congratulations. The counselors and I don't always hang out in our regalia, but when we do, it's to celebrate the awesome accomplishments of the class of 2021. Stay thirsty for learning, my friends. Hello, class of 2021. I encourage you to take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. I go out there and do your thing. Cap down, it's going down. You did it. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Congrats, grads, and I just want to let you know to be the change you wish to see in the world. Congratulations and best wishes for your future adventures. Congratulations, classes 2021. You are all amazing. Thank you for letting us be part of your educational journey. We enjoyed watching you grow and discover your purpose. Oh yeah, congratulations, grads, go. Congratulations, uh, class of 2021. You've made it through a lot of challenges this past year. So congratulations on finally finishing the school year. Big congratulations and bravo, class of 2021. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations to each and every one of you. The possibilities are endless. Congrats, class of 2021. We're excited for all your accomplishments. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Today is the beginning of a new adventure. Congratulations, class of 2021. Yay. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations.